How to download your website backup, files and database from SiteGround. Hi guys, and welcome to Amaro Art Flash Tutorials. Here on the Site Tools inside of SiteGround, we do have an option to make a backup. We can make a manual one and there's automatic ones being made every night. And we are able to restore any backups using this system here, but there is no option to actually download a backup. To do that, we have to make one manually. We come to the left hand side and click on Site. And then click on File Manager. Here we have the access to all the file system. We're going to click into the public HTML folder, which is all of the files that show on the web. We'll select all the files in that folder by clicking the first folder, scrolling to the bottom while holding Shift key. And clicking on the last file in the site. Next we'll go up here at the top and click on Archive. Give the thing a file name. Then click Confirm. And it's going to generate a zip file for us that we can now download. So here we can see, we have a backup file that we've named my backup. We can click on it. And then click on, download, up here, at the top. That's going to download a file for us. While that's working. To make the backup complete, we also need the database. So while we have the files, we still need to get the database. So here on the left hand side, click on MySQL, then click on phpMyAdmin. And from here, we can now click Access PHP My Admin. This is going to load up the database manager. At the top, we'll click the name of the database that we want to back up. And then, here at the top panel, we will click the Export. The format option will leave as it is, SQL. And just click here on the Go button. That's going to export an entire SQL file and we would use that for restoring a backup of a site. And that's how to make a backup inside SiteGround. One last thing that we should do is go back to the file manager and delete the backup we've made so we won't be wasting space on our site. We just click the delete button up here at the top. And now that file has gone. That's about it. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel to be notified of new videos like this one. Good luck and have a great day.